Hi, this is Dan Bell, and this is my video tour of the mall at Steamtown in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And there we just watched a commercial that the mall produced in 2011 showing all the stores, the name brand stores that they had at one time that are now no longer here in this mall. Uh, this mall is in downtown Scranton, um, right in front of the Steamtown uh, National Historic Site. Um, I suppose at one time back in the 80s when they conceived this mall and then in the 90s when this mall was built um, that they were probably hoping for people who were going to go look at trains to come into the mall and shop. Um, the There's an actual walkway that goes from the mall over to the... Um, uh, over to the Steamtown Historic Site um, to the museum and I think basing a mall on that kind of attraction is not a good idea at all um, this mall is just on its last leg I don't need it, it, first of all it's in foreclosure so it's going to be auctioned off soon um, the story behind that is Al Boskov is the one who really conceived the mall and put the money into building the mall. So Boskov has been in this mall for a long time. Um, now at 85 years old, Al Boskov wants to buy the mall back from the bank that foreclosed on it originally um, and revitalize it and make it into a grand shopping mall again it's never gonna work never ever gonna work and if you go out here on the street this is the the main entrance on um, the the street there I don't know what the street is called all of these buildings out here are abandoned they're all abandoned It's so crazy seeing that footage um, of Justin Bieber and all the people that were in the mall to see him. And he was actually right here in front of the elevator um, doing a, a performance. I guess that was before he was like uber famous. Um, all those people are gone now and all the stores that were behind them are also gone. This was Hollister and this has been sitting empty for a long time. I saw a clip on YouTube. Um, it was a um, little news piece that someone did. Uh, so this mall had a uh, Bonton at one time. And previously, um, it was Montgomery Wards, but the uh, Montgomery Wards went out of business, so Bonton moved in. And Bonton um, closed here about a little over a year ago. One of the... Um, leasing agents or spokesperson for Steamtown Mall um, was in this video piece and he said, you know, that uh, Bonton was just not the right fit for this mall. And I'm thinking to myself, Bonton isn't the right fit? Like, Bonton is like, it, it's just, it's a clothing store. Like, what could possibly be wrong with having Bonton in your mall? But this guy also said that they weren't worried that Bonton had closed. They weren't concerned 
uh, they they didn't feel like it was um, um, that big of a blow to the mall because they had already been through that before. And here we are, a little over a year later, and look at this place. It's in foreclosure. Uh, it's it, it's going to be auctioned off. It's dead as dead can be. You know, it's like the downtown area of Scranton. Um, the buildings, everything you look at is abandoned. Like across the street from the mall, it's all abandoned. Uh, the movie theater is closed. An office building, um, all the offices that were in there have moved out. When I was outside, there's no traffic. Um, the people you see walking around are pretty much vagrants. It's, it's not a pleasant place to go not fun it's not interesting it's just horrible um this mall was a terrible idea a terrible terrible idea and unfortunately here it sits today in financial ruin uh and while the city of scranton tries to figure out what to do with it and it's it's just terrible 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 situation this is the second floor of where the bonton was looking in all that empty retail space it's unbelievable this mall looks exactly like Owings Mills Mall um, and I actually have a video of Owings Mills Mall in my Dead Mall series you can go check it out here we are looking into another retail space that's completely empty This is actually a plaque up by the elevator on the second floor. I assumed the elevators weren't working because I thought that they had taken the actual elevator car out, but I was wrong because I saw in another clip later on that it was actually just down on the first floor. Not the first floor, but the basement. Here we are continuing to walk, and this is down towards uh, where Boscov's is. And here's another empty retail space. I would say this mall right now is at 80%... 80% vacant. Here we are in front of Boscov's Furniture Outlet, and I want to pause this for one second because this is something that I missed. I didn't do my homework. I'm zooming in. You see that pink sign in the center there? That was used on the show The Office in the opening credits. Um, so people, they, the city council took the sign and put it in the mall so people, fans of The Office could come and get their picture taken with it. Which is, you know, that's kind of cool. They had, a, they did have an office convention at the mall when the show was still on the air. Here is FYE for your entertainment. They are closing two days away from closing at the time of the production of this video.
the reality of this mall is very, very dire. I don't... I, I mean, it... There is no excitement or anything around this building. Um, the little area down there is just... It's desolate. There's no traffic. There's no people. There's nowhere to eat. There's no stores. It's just awful. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, I, it's just... It, this mall is a giant steel concrete tiled waste of money. It should have never been built. They should have thought of something else to put here because this, this is not the answer uh, to revitalizing downtown Scranton. The food court was completely abandoned. There are two places still open. There's a subway and there is also a pizza place. Um, but the other spaces are all unoccupied. Here's a nice pan of the empty food court with all the clean tables and nicely placed uh, chairs and no people. And here's the Steamtown National Historic Site. The windows actually look out toward the uh, Steamtown site. And here is the walkway, which was locked because I shot this around 5.30. So they had already closed for the day. But, um... It would have been cool if I could have walked out there and looked at the uh, trains since I drove three hours to go see this place. <laughs> I like these black curtains. It's like a funeral. They just put black curtains in front of the old closed down stores and the eateries and everything else. Really, really uh, quite depressing. And here we are. This is a little ice cream candy shop that's closed. And we are wrapping up this visit to Steamtown, the mall at Steamtown. Please, I beg of you, go and check out my other Dead Mall videos in the Dead Mall series. If you like this video, you'll love the other videos. I'm continuing to do more Dead Mall videos, so they're there for your enjoyment. I love this, this little ticket booth in the garage and a Black Friday sign to close out. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and check me out on Facebook.